Hey, what's good guys? It's your boy Fonte over here on the video. In this one, guys, I'm going to be comparing iOS 13 beta 2 to iOS 10.3.2 on iPhone 6s. In case you're new to this channel, guys, and you want to see such content, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like, the thumbs up button if you like the video, and as always, guys, stay tuned. So guys, as you can see, these are two iPhone 6s, iOS 10.3.2, iOS 13 beta 2. Now, you're gonna put up both devices. So let's see which one will up faster, though overall iOS 12, for example, was faster than iOS 10 and booting up. So I guess iOS 13 is the same as well. Yep, it is faster, slightly though, you're gonna jump in the phones. Same responsiveness here, good stuff. So guys, both phones here have nothing in the background. Gonna start with settings. And I'm just gonna show you that, oops. They're both at the same brightness, and yeah, just to show you that this is iOS 13. Dark mode and normal, I'm gonna go for normal for the test. To make it fair, as dark mode is not that stable yet, I'm gonna go for phone dialer. iOS 13 was faster, calendar, 13, photos, almost the same, weather app. Think 10 was faster, clock. Exactly the same, going for maps, iOS 10 definitely, going for the app store, definitely iOS 10, oh my god, there's some difference, okay, that, that app had lag or something, it's in the early testing phase, so it has sometimes to lag, iTunes, definitely faster than iOS 10, for sure, loading this content, Going for third party apps, gonna start with YouTube. Faster than 10, minimal difference though. Going for Geekbench 4, identical. Going for Chrome, yeah, slightly faster than 10. Google Earth, wow, definitely iOS 10. Snapchat, though iOS 13, okay, that was faster than iOS 13. 13 beta 1 was kind of faster than iOS 10, I think, or almost the same thing, but this time kind of disappointing. Angry Birds Go. Okay, that was game, the, this game was faster than iOS 13. Good stuff there, going for Minion Rush. So maybe with games, iOS 13 is faster, let's see. Seems identical here, neck and neck, with Minion Rush. Nope, actually iOS 10 was faster. Yep, so leaving, going for into the benchmark. Almost the same. Now going for Safari. Apple.com, that was definitely, definitely way faster than iOS 10, sadly. Again, it's a second developer beta, so it's not perfect. Oh my god, that's a difference there. Just gonna show you guys that they're both connected to the same network. Real quick here. So you can see it's the same network, so I don't know what's happening. Let me just go for give iOS 13 another chance, gonna go for TV. Okay, this time it was faster, but as you can see, the blue bar is still there. iOS 10 is downloading, iOS 13 isn't. Now it finished. Now guys, gonna go for some multitasking, RAM management, Safari, settings, iTunes, good stuff. Minion Rush, Angry Birds Go, Snapchat, Google Earth, Chrome, Geekbench 4, YouTube, both are doing good, iTunes, solid, App Store, good performance, Maps, both are doing really good, Clock, Weather App, both are doing really good, Photos, Calendar, and Phone Dialer. Both are in refresh and single app, so both are really good here, though this phone drops 98%, and that's higher, higher rate level than this one on iOS 10. Now guys gonna go for a Geekbench 4 test. Oh, 
Okay, guys, so both phones are done here. So definitely iOS 13 got a better score, though only multi-core. Single core was kind of... So guys, this thing I'm noticing with the 6S, um, it's getting lower scores than iOS 13. 12 did. Just to show you some history here, let's say from this one, for example, definitely a big downgrade from iOS 12.3.1 especially in terms of multi-core scores. So I don't know what's wrong with the 6S. SE was better or almost the same, but still SE was managed to get a higher score than that, than, the, than an iOS 10. But in this case, no, the single core, which is really important, is being lower than iOS 13, sadly. All right, guys, there you have it. That was the comparison. I want to say, guys, that the 6S and iOS 13 beta 2 wasn't as fast as 10.3, so I'm kind of disappointed there because the previous beta was better. And the SE, for example, in beta 1 was better than than success and performance. So I hope they fix this because it definitely shows that the success slowed down. That's not even dark mode, dark mode slows the phone even more. So I hope you guys like the video, subscribe for more content, peace out.